what do you think the future of the EV industry in India is? Um, I'm asking because as of now, a lot of the EVs are powered through coal-based power plants, and you know that is, of course, as we know, not the future. Future is to move to sustainability and uh, to maybe thermal-based renewable energy, etc. But how long do you think that transition would take? I mean, uh, I think the transition can happen immediately. We don't need to wait for so long. I can speak for Blue Smart, and I can speak for the industry overall. So, India now has one grid, one nation policy. uh which means that you can feed the power from anywhere and feed it to the central grid and you can draw the power from anywhere right so india now today accounts for nearly 63 64% of all the power that's generated in india the installed capacity is to the thermal power coal based and 37% or 36% of all the power generated in india installed capacity is non coal based mm. so that's that's where we are so even the energy that we use from the grid today that is 37% non coal based which is a good step to start mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. and that's what we have been doing along the last 3 4 years using energy from the central grid where energy today sources 63% coal powered and 37% is non coal powered renewable is a part of it so renewable contribution could be about 25 26% of the overall energy mix so the But target for, is to reduce that 60% of coal power and move more towards non coal based yeah power so plans. india's target is by 2032 ministry of power guidelines is that and it's on the website also that by 2032 all the new power plants which are coming up now none of them are coal based power plants all are renewable and solar power plants india in the last 10 years has added nearly 100 gigawatts of wind and solar plants which is an amazing feat no country in the world is going the way india is going but blue smart doesn't need to wait for that so our goal from day one and anmol and i we are serial entrepreneurs in the energy space was to decarbonize mobility from day one uh, the goal was to use renewable energy i think now the time has come blue smart today operates nearly 115 megawatt of batteries in cars which is a massive amount of 150 megawatt of batteries mm. uh, is, is in all blue smart cars now the time has come to use renewable energy so next year early next year uh you will see blue smart making a large announcement could be jan could be feb uh where blue smart will use 100% renewable energy from a dedicated solar power plant which will provide energy to blue smart charging stations via the central grid of india because and in, because of the laws of india allow that to the main grid under open access policy the entire fleet of blue smart 10000 cars will be 100% run by renewable energy by solar blue smart will become the world's first and largest EV ride hailing service to be 100% powered by renewable energy that's one of a kind nobody has ever thought of it at that scale and nobody has ever done that